Hello and welcome to my channel, where I tell stories from my time in cat rescue, as well as other life adventures. Besides my love for cats and other animals that reside on land, I also have a fascination with the ocean and all the wondrous creatures that live there. Today I'll be sharing with you my first ever day trip to Cozumel. The trip included two scuba dives, one of which was a multi-level dive consisting of tunnels and crevices, and the second was my first ever drift dive, which honestly felt like I was along for the ride most of the time, but what a beautiful ride it was. So come along, let's dive in, shall we? Dive number one, the multi-level dive. And when they said multi-level, they weren't kidding. I've been on dives before that had a lot of swim throughs, but I had never encountered anything like this before. It was almost overwhelming. There were so many things to look at, so many beautiful colors and different corals, not to mention the sheer size of the different rock and coral formations that surrounded us. I mean, look at that. They're as tall as buildings. Oh, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. After descending down from the boat, we did spend a little bit of time at a shallower depth before heading further down. It was here that we encountered two file fish that were hanging around. Seeing the difference in their appearance led me to believe that they were two completely different kinds of fish. But no, these file fish are both white spotted file fish. So why do they look so different from each other? Well, naturally it's because they're magical creatures that can change their colors and markings at will. There are actually a number of different creatures in the ocean that have that superpower. More than I initially realized. Hopefully I can show you examples of that in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Now, on to the rest of the dive. I'm going to step aside for a little so you can sit back and enjoy the sights. I'll pop back in when I have something to say. Enjoy the dive.
we interrupt this program to bring you an adventure anecdote. Do you see all those black colored fish in the background? There's actually quite a number of them. This was interesting for me to see because at our usual Mexico vacation spot where we typically go diving, we only see one or two of these types of fish at a time. And they are pretty shy, so even when you do see them, they don't tend to stick around for very long. But here in Cozumel, we saw groups of them. And I was even able to get a close look at several of them. Including this one. This is the black durgan, or the black triggerfish. Though they often look black, as the name suggests, they are actually a dark blue color with intricate markings. This is the first time I ever saw one that was this brilliant shade of blue with a bright yellow splash on its face. This beautiful fish goes on to unintentionally disturb the inner peace of a territorial damselfish. Thankfully though, there was no harm done, and my new fish friend was able to continue on its way once the ordeal was over. We head back up to the boat for a short break and some snacks as we move to the next dive location. I'd like to take this time to mention that the dive shop we used for this trip was Tortuga Care Diving and Snorkeling. I'll put their information in the description box below. Be sure to check them out! Now it's time for dive 2, the drift dive. Oh hey look! A filefish! Let's go say hi! Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? I'm kicking my fins, but it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. Well, I guess I'm just along for the ride then. Whee! That's right, you guessed it. As the name would suggest, a drift dive is where you're basically drifting along with the current for the most part. At least, that's how my first experience went. It was a bit of an adjustment for sure. There were some areas where the current wasn't quite as strong, but you definitely had to be mindful so that you didn't unknowingly get carried away and separated from the rest of your group. Before I step away and let you enjoy the underwater sights in peace, this clip is actually one of my favorite moments from the dive. That's because you can see all three types of angelfish that we've seen so far in just this one clip alone. Not only that, but as is the case with this queen angelfish on the screen right now, you can see various sizes of the same fish like the small one here, with the larger ones behind it. And then of course, you can see the gray angelfish in the center of the screen there. Watching the show along with us were several schools of other types of fish. And here comes the French angelfish to complete the trio. And now, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the show. Just as these fishy friends seem to be doing. Enjoy!
and this concludes the tour of my scuba diving day trip to Cozumel. I hope you enjoyed the underwater sights, and I also hope you enjoyed learning about the different types of fish and other sea creatures we encountered. As I mentioned before, I will be putting the dive shop information in the description box below. We had a wonderful experience with Tortuga Kare, and I recommend them to anyone who would like to explore the underwater world of Cozumel. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.